guys happy saturday it is march 18th and i'm in my office right now i just finished filming my youtube video for monday so as you can see here i get a lot of questions as to what program i use to edit my videos and I just use iMovie. It is almost noon. I really didn't do that much this morning. Just made a cup of coffee. I went through an old paper to cut out some coupons and then I showered and got ready and then pretty much filmed. Well, I had breakfast and then I filmed my YouTube video. So now Jonathan and I are going to head out to go get brunch slash lunch. I'm excited because he was gone for a little over a week working and we haven't really gone out to dinner or really gone and done anything. So I thought doing, you know, lunch, brunch lunch would be really fun. So that is what we're doing today. Lacey? Lacey, are you upstairs? Hi, what's up? What are you doing? I was wondering where you went. I was wondering where you went. You hanging out upstairs? Yeah, okay. We are experiencing very warm weather here in Texas. I am wearing a dress with sandals because it was, I think, it was nice yesterday. It was 70 yesterday. But I think we're actually getting into the 80s, maybe. So spring is officially here. It's stuck underneath my light fixtures shut all the doors and now I'm going to check on Jonathan to see if he is ready to go eat just got back from Red Lobster and from shopping a little bit at TJ Maxx. We actually booked a cruise for my birthday. So we're going on a cruise in May and we had to pick up some, you know, cruise wear. So we did that at TJ Maxx. But now we're home and I'm craving a fruit smoothie. I really, really want one. So that's what I'm gonna make. in the afternoon now I have been working away in my office I just finished editing my YouTube video for Monday which you guys have already seen my prologues YouTube video so just finished editing that as you can see that's a great screenshot <laughs> I swear when I'm editing I always see I always freeze it on the worst possible frame where I have some dumb look on my face or I'm like mm, but whatever it's fine that's why I have cover art and different thumbnails. I actually take pictures for my thumbnails because if I were to try to pull a picture from the actual footage, my mouth is like, like the whole time. So there's just no footage where I'm just smiling in a shot. So I always have to take a separate picture for my thumbnails. So I'm just working on that. And as soon as it exports to my computer, then I can upload it to YouTube. So that will be the next thing that I do. And then from there, I need to do my 50 pages of proofreading for today for restitution. I am only about 100 pages away from being fully done with the final proofread. So once I do that, I can upload the final version to CreateSpace, to Kindle, to IngramSpark, and order a copy of paperback from CreateSpace, paperback from IngramSpark, and hardcover from IngramSpark. So I can get all of those. And the ebook version, obviously I can, I can see it right away once I upload it and make sure that it looks good on my tablet or on my iPad. So, <gasps> crazy stuff. I mean, I can't believe that we are just so close to the release date for that book and I just cannot believe that this trilogy is going to be over with. It's sad. 
it's sad but again i'm excited for my dark fantasy series i can't wait to really just dive headfirst into that i've already started reaching out to a couple of cartographers I think that's what they're called, to start drafting the map for my dark fantasy book. And I'm so excited to see that map come to life because I really wanna have it in the first two pages. I don't know if you noticed, but when you open up a lot of fantasy books, they do tend to have a map at the very beginning. And that's something I really want to include in my book. So I've started reaching out to a couple of them, just seeing if I like their style and see what their pricing is. So I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, look at these nut jobs over here. I caught you on candid camera. What are you guys doing? You playing? <laughs> this is their lazy version of playing when it's too hot outside. They just lay on the ground and bite each other. <laughs> oh, they are just too much, too much to handle. What else do we have on the agenda? I do need to wash the sheets and the comforter and vacuum the bedroom. I did some deep cleaning yesterday. And when I mean deep cleaning, like I went through the drawers in the kitchen. I was scrubbing and just getting rid. I have a couple of junk drawers in the kitchen. I didn't even realize this that just had like old condiments and random keys that don't belong to anything. And what else did we have in there? Just lots of random stuff where I was like, why do we even have this? Like I haven't used this in over a year. I didn't even know it was here. So I threw away so much stuff. I went through my closet. I've really just been on kind of an organizing binge lately. I tackled the bathroom cabinets that we have because we had so many vitamins and just medication that was expired or old that I just brought with me from my old apartment almost two years ago because we moved into this house almost two years ago. So I just kind of, brought everything without really going through it and when I move I normally like to go through everything I have and get rid of the stuff that I don't need or that's expired or and I didn't do that so I've had to do that this year but it's been really nice because I feel like I'm just purging and getting rid of all the stuff I don't need so it's like a fresh start and I love that the next thing I need to go through are these desk drawers because God only knows what's in there and then I also need to go through this hallway that closet right there. There is a lot of old stuff in there. Okay, I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna throw the sheets in the wash, vacuum, and set chicken breasts out for dinner. And then I'm gonna come back in here and work on my proofreading. I decided it was time to change. I have no idea why I just vacuumed in a dress. So I'm just wearing, this is actually a really cute top I got at TJ Maxx today. It was originally $50 and I got it for 12. And it's really cute. It's got a fun little hood, but it's really cozy material. And I just really like it. And it was $12. So I was like, hey, I'll buy that. All right, I have the comforter in the wash, I vacuumed, I put the chicken breasts out for dinner, and I grabbed myself a popsicle because with 85 degree weather in March, it's hot outside and I just want smoothies and popsicles and just fruit. I really want watermelon too, like really badly. I might go buy myself a watermelon. This will do for now. But I am now going to go ahead and start my proofreads for this bad boy. So that is what I will be working on for probably the next hour or so. I went on a little bit of a YouTube binge there. I only edited 10 pages and my goal today was 50. So I'm falling a little bit behind. It is seven o'clock right now. Whoops. I did change my shirt because I am gonna go upstairs and get a workout in after kind of sitting on the couch binge watching some YouTube videos, I realized that I need to actually do something today besides sit. So since I washed my hair this morning, I'm not gonna do any kind of really serious running or cardio. Um, I will get my heart rate up enough where, you know, I'll be burning a lot of fat calories, but I'm not gonna, you know, go run around the block, not to mention it's hot outside. It's still like 80 degrees, even though it's seven o'clock. 
gotta love Texas. But I am going to do a chest, shoulder, and tricep workout because I just, I don't know, I feel like I need to work on this area. And I did legs a couple of days ago and they're still pretty sore. So I am going to have some BCAAs. And these are the Extend, I think it's Scavation. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Excavation Extend BCAAs. This is in the mango flavor. And for those that don't know what BCAAs do, they basically support muscle growth, support recovery, and they replenish your electrolytes. I've noticed this helps a lot with muscle soreness when I drink these before slash during my workout. And then when I take a bath afterwards, I put Epsom salt in the bath and I wake up the next day and my muscles are hardly sore at all. I can still tell that I worked out, but I'm not, you know, it's not where I can't like sit down or I'm like trying to put a shirt on and I'm like, ah, my arms. So I really like these. So after my workout, I am going to drink one of these UMP, Beverly UMP Ultimate Muscle Protein Shakes. I have cookies and cream and chocolate. I will probably just go ahead and do cookies and cream because that's what sounds good. This time to head upstairs, I'm gonna make my BCAs first get this workout in, just get it done with. Molly, tired. <laughs> that was my workout. Woo! That was chest, shoulders, triceps, and abs. Holy moly. Okay, I had to throw my hair back in a pony and put my bangs back. Oh, well, it's the dogs. Hi, girls. <laughs> had to throw this back because I am very overheated. We normally do not keep the air on upstairs because we're not up there that often. And it's been cooler out where we've just opened the window and the air kind of circulates up there. But when I went up there, the thermostat read 81. And I wanted to just get my workout in and done with. So I turned the air on, but I didn't wait for it to fully cool down. And holy moly, I think that's why I'm so overheated and sweating a lot more than I normally do because it was already hot up there to begin with. But I wanted to get my workout done. I'm about to make a protein shake. And I did wanna show you guys some of the vitamins that I do take on a daily basis. So I'm really into gummies. I love gummies. Um, when I was little, I used to eat fruit roll-ups and gushers and red vines. And to be honest, sometimes I'll still buy a pack and snack on those because they're just so good. I know they're terrible for you, but one little pack of sweetness isn't gonna kill me. But I have found since I've started taking these Ollie vitamins, I got these at Target. You can also buy them online on Amazon, but these are the perfect women's multivitamin. So it's a blend of vitamins A, C, D, E, Bs, biotin, and folic acid. And I really like the way these taste. I haven't taken mine today actually, so let me show you kind of what they look like. So they're kind of like a, these are more of like a raspberry flavor. So they just look like this, but they kind of have this sweet, the sweet like sugary stuff on them. You're supposed to take two a day, but I find they're really, really good. And that way I don't have to swallow pills A, C, D, E, B, biotin, and folic acid. I just get it in one gummy because those are the vitamins I would take anyways. And the next ones I take are my absolute favorite. They are sugar bear hair vitamins. Um, they're vegetarian gummies. They're specifically 
for your hair. So it does contain biotin, folic acid, and vitamin C, which I know this does have in here, but I'll still take one of these a day just to kind of make my hair, skin, and nails extra glowy. But these, I don't even know how to describe what these taste like. They almost have kind of like a blueberry or like a blue raspberry flavor, but they're so cute because they're in the shape of these little bears. Mmm, these are so good. These are absolutely my favorite vitamins. They are a little bit pricier than your normal hair, skin, and nail vitamins, but this is the second bottle I bought of these because I love them. And I'll be honest, sometimes if I just want something sweet, I'll go grab one of these because I'm like, well, it's a vitamin. Like, it can't be that bad for you, right? All the vitamins are wonderful. Sugar Bear Hair, these are delicious. Highly recommend them. Again, these you can find at Target. Um, both of them I'm pretty sure you can find on Amazon and a lot of other sites. So just want to let you guys know what vitamins I take. Okay, guys, that is going to conclude this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.